I am Flash Isaac. Welcome to my mathematics class. Uh, today, I'll be taking you through indices questions involving uh, linear equations. So I've solved questions on indices and I've introduced indices. I said indices means uh, numbers that have powers. So indices deal with powers, exponents generally. So you may want to check out my videos on indices and seven laws of indices. So today I'll be solving these five problems involving indices. If you've not gone through my indices classes or you don't already have a sound background of indices, you may have challenge. So I advise you go through my indices introduction, indices laws and calculations to be okay because I will assume you already know those stuff. Cool. Now, the first one says 3, 2s equals 27. So this is 3, this is 27. So to solve this, we look for how to arrive at have to have 3 here to have common base. Because for the equations, so long the base are common, you can equate the powers. So that's the law in indices. So now if you have 27, how many 3 can come out of 27? Um, 3 times 3 is 9, right? Then 9 times 3 is 27. So that means uh, 3 raised to the power of 3 would give you 27. So in that case, uh, 3, 2s is equals 3 raised to the power of 3. So this is the same thing as 27. We've not changed anything. So with this, our uh, food is ready. Yeah. So this is the same. This is the same. So we can equate the powers. So this means 2s is equals 3. Now if 2s is equals to, equal to 3, loss is s. We simply divide both sides by 2. So this will cancel this. s is equals 3 over 2. So this is s. So if you, are, if you want to prove it, no problem. Let's go 50-50. If I have 3 raised to the power of 2s, and we've solved s, this is your answer. This one is just over sabi, you are proving. So and let s equals 3 over 2, which is our answer here. So we now have 3 raised to the power of 2 times 3 over 2. So this will give you 3 raised to the power of 6 over 2 equals 3 raised to the power of 3. And this is equals 27. So you see, 3 raised to the power of 3, 27. So we are correct. The second question says 8 s. 8 s is equals 2 raised to the power of 1 over 2 times 4. So we have this, we have this. So 2 seems to be the smallest number. So is there any way we can make 2 out of this and this? Of course, we can. Recall that 8 is equals 2 raised to the power of 3. 2 raised to the power of 3 means 2 times 2 times 2. And 2 times 2 times 2 is equals 8. So therefore, 8 is 2 raised to the power of 3. And we have s here already. So to multiply the s, this is equals 2 raised to the power of 1 over 2. Okay, this one remains times uh, 4 is 2 raised to the power of 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So with this, be happy because you're almost done. Then you observe, this is the same thing as 2 raised to the power of 3s, of course. Then this is 2 raised to the power of 1 over 2 plus 2. Because from the laws of indices, when you are multiplying and the bases are the same, you add the power. That's law of multiplication of indices. So 2 raised to the power of 1 over 2 times 2 raised to the power of 2. 2 and 2, the bases are the same. You pick 1, then you add the powers. So you have 1 over 2 plus 2. So if you still don't understand, check out my laws of indices. I've broken all these things down. So now we have 2 raised to the power of 3 is equals 2 raised to the power of 1 over 2 plus 2. 1 over 2 plus 2 this is equals this is over 1 2 divided by 2 is 1 1 times 1 is 1 plus 2 divided by 1 is 2 2 times 2 is 4 
so this will give you 5 over 2 So we have 5 over 2, so the bases are the same, so we can equate the powers. So in that case, 3s is equals 5 over 2. So we've gotten this, or we can divide both sides by 3. So this is over 3, this is over 3. So we can break this down so that it doesn't confuse you. Uh, 5 over 2 divided by 3. You can change this division to multiplication. In, when you invert this, that means this division has changed to multiplication. So 5 over 2 times 1 over 3. So this will give you 5 over 6. So everything here is 5 over 6. So this will cancel this. So therefore, S equals 5 over 6. This is your answer. So you may go through indices again if you are confused. I will share the link to the video. Okay, number 3. So for number 3, 9 is the same thing as uh, 3 square is 9. So times 3, 1 plus 2s. So equals 27 is 3 over 3. So I have 3 over 3 minus 1. So this is 3 square plus 1 plus 2s. Because from the law of indices, once we are multiplying and the bases are the same, you add the power. So that's why we are adding 2 and this. So this will give you t raised to the power of minus 3. Because 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. So adding this, this will simply give you uh, 2 plus 1 plus 2s is equals this. This is 3 plus 2s is equals to the power of minus 3. So now the bases are the same. So we equate the powers. So therefore this one becomes 3 plus 2s is equals minus 3. So 2s is equals minus 3 minus 3. Because once this 3 crosses the equality sign and go this way, it becomes minus. So at, at that, 2s is equals minus 9. So s is equals minus 9 over 2. So that's your answer. Same thing as 25 over 100. And it's all squared. Squared. And s is the power of 4 is equals. This is 25 square. And this is 100 square. So, s raised to the power of 4 is equals to uh, 5 square is 25 and square. So, this is 5 square raised to the power of 2. This is 4, this is 4, this is 4. So, we can, the powers can cancel and we have s is equals 5 over 10. This will give you 1 over 2 equals 0 0.5. Okay, uh, question 5. 9 is the same thing as 3, 2, 2s minus 3. Equals to 3s plus 3. So this is 3, 2 times 2 is 4, that is 4s minus 6 over 3s plus 3 equals 2. So we have this and in indices the law of division. Check my law of indices, law of division. It says once the bases are the same and you are dividing, you pick one base and subtract the powers. So this is 3, 4s minus 6, then minus s plus 3. This is equals 2. <laughs> okay. I don't want to cancel all these ones because I want you to still be meditating on them. So when you have this, now this is where many students make mistakes. If you are multiplying, uh, say this minus this, let's say 4s minus 6, and I say minus s plus 3. Don't just do it like this, you get the wrong answer. Since you are subtracting this, 
simply put this in bracket. So this one is in bracket, and this minus we multiply the bracket. So we have 4s minus 6 minus times s is minus s minus times plus 3 is minus 3. So this is the right thing to do. So in this case, 4s minus s is 3s minus 6 minus 3 is minus 9. So this is 3s minus 9. So that is equals to So, um, 3 raised to the power of 3s minus 9 is equals. So, that's 3. So, it's equals 3. So, in that case, the bases are the same. So, please uh, put this as 3. The bases are the same. We can equate the powers 3s minus 9 is equals 1. 3s is equals 10. S equals 10 over 3. So that will be your answer. So that's that. And um, if you have any challenges solving this, because I actually solved this very fast, because I assumed you've followed my indices explanations. But if you've not, I would advise you go through them again, my indices videos, then come back to this. It will become very, very easy. So thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get my next and next and next videos and feel free to go through my other videos.